Confessions, the woman who played Marsha Brady, really not the first person who would come to mind, at least for me. With me tonight in New York, Janelle Snowden. She's a host for VH1 and in Hollywood tonight. Carlos Diaz, he's a correspondent for Extra. Guys, give me a moment to collect myself. I'm just in shock. Cocaine? Abortion? Eating disorders? Rehab? Carlos, let me begin with you. Are you like me in a bit of disbelief hearing all of this? I mean, we're talking about Marsha Brady here. Thank God that grass in the backyard was so fake they would have tried to smoke it. I mean, I, I can't believe, this is unbelievable stuff. I, I didn't know that she was so ticked off that her nose got broken because it affected her coke habit. I mean, I, this, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this entire thing and the eating disorder. You had Alice make it all your food. How could you have an eating disorder? I, I'm, I'm blown away. Yeah, and Sam the Butcher providing only the leanest cuts of beef, I'm sure. Exactly, you yes. Know, and in thinking about all of this, it's kind of hard to say which of Marie McCormick's confessions were really the most shocking, but I would say this one probably comes pretty close to, to being at the top of the list, trading sex for drugs. As we saw on the Today Show, she called that her lowest point. Let's watch this again. It came towards the end of um, doing cocaine. I was actually freebasing when I was uh, doing that, when, and all I cared about was... Uh, sex or the drugs and you know i would have sex to get the drugs it was my lowest point it was awful yeah i imagine it was awful trading her body for cocaine janelle uh, snowden over to you the brady bunch obviously still playing around the world in reruns you flip around the tv you're seeing it all the time are you like me you'll never really be able to watch the show and see marcia brady the same way again i think she might have ruined it for me i have a pretty imaginative uh, I'm a pretty imaginative person, and I just cannot picture Marsha Brady free bracing. Like, like <laughs> I can't even say it. I can't picture it. It's just unbelievable. I mean, and I do have to say, though, in her defense, the crush on Greg Brady, I can believe. Who didn't have a crush on Greg Brady? Well, let, let's get <laughs> Maybe in. you didn't, AJ. Let, Maybe you didn't. Let's get into the, the whole sex life and, and, and dating thing, too, because this is all pretty shocking. Uh, because right there in the tell-all book, McCormick revealing that she dated Michael Jackson, when he was still with the Jackson 5, I should point out, uh, dated Steve Martin, which kind of blew my mind, and as we were just talking about, she nearly lost her virginity to Greg Brady, Barry Williams, who played him on the show, of course. Carlos, uh, I don't know if you're aware that we have this instrument, but we're going to take out the Showbiz Tonight grossometer right now, so we can ask oh, yeah. you which one of those grosses you out the most. Uh, you know what? Well, the, <clears throat> Michael Jackson, he was in the Jackson 5, and she was in that equally successful group with the Brady 6 or whatever when they had that, that one show, so I guess that makes sense. Steve Martin, that's pretty weird because he never, he always had gray hair, which means she was with a silver-haired guy when she was that young. That's weird. But I gotta say, the grossometer goes off the charts with the I almost had sex with my brother Greg yeah. in the pool. I mean, <laughs> that's not cool. When it's time to change, you've got to rearrange. Uh, Janelle, I'm, I'm pulling out the grossometer for you right now. Who is like the gag me with the spoon level on the grossometer for you of those that we've mentioned here? Well, like I just said, even though they were brother and sister and you don't want to imagine it, I mean, they were acting and they did spend a lot of time together during their formative years, so I can kind of understand the Greg Brady crush. I know I'm going to catch a lot of stuff for saying that, but hey, like I said, I had a crush on Greg Brady too, so I, I understand it. Michael Jackson, that one threw me for a loop, I must say. Yeah. I mean, but I'm just glad that it was her and not Bubbles. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good thing to point out. All right, put the grossometer away, guys. Uh, on a more serious note, Maureen McCormick did say her drug use began after the Brady Bunch came to an end. She was dealing with a lot of emotional baggage, not just with the show ending, but with her family as well. No secret, of course, a child star like McCormick, uh, Danny Bonaduce, Gary Coleman, Valerie Bertinelli, Todd Bridges, I could go on, uh, the show's only an hour. They've all gone through some troubling times. Carlos, I actually only have 10 seconds, but really more proof that being a child star, tough to survive. It's tough. I mean, when you have a child star and you're, you're told to act up and act up for the camera, and then when it's all over, you can't act up anymore. Where does that energy go? And it's very tough for childhood stars to go any place after their stardom is done.